Something happened to you now. You were fighting with the matter, with your own matter of identity, who you are, or you want to be white or black, and you're wondering, and then you find something pretty good about yourself. And then you're working with whites, and then Dr. King is assassinated. And now what happens? I got mad. I got insta angry. I turned, probably turned purple. <laughs> That's when my black really showed. I said, now here it is, this man is nonviolent. He been preaching nonviolence, he been just praying, he been marching and he ain't did nothing wrong and they gonna kill him. Now I ain't going down like that. And I got so angry at all white people, I said they don't care about nobody but themselves. And I, and then these people who I was talking with like Peggy, like um, Mary Hockenberry and Virginia Bowers, those were three of my white friends. We had been real close. And I pulled back from those people. I didn't want to have nothing to do with them. So you, you, you rebuffed Peggy? And, yeah, and all of them. And, and Anybody white? Yeah, all white. All white. Now I'm thinking about getting super black. Because uh, the black power with um, Stokely Carmichael was out there, and then you had the Black Panthers. and things like that. So I'm, I'm thinking more, that's, they the ones was right. Yeah, we need a gun. Never had thought about no gun and stuff. I, I was all messed up in my head, trying to figure out how, do, where do we go from here? What do I do? I just, I want to get this person who killed Dr. King. That just didn't make no sense. Out of everybody, why would they kill him? He wasn't doing nothing. So give him, I give him a reason. And I stayed separated from my friends. These were friends who we were together almost 24 hours a day. We ate, our kids played together. We didn't, I didn't feel no color. I, I didn't even look at no color. But now all of a sudden I was. Now you shunned them. Shunned them away and then I, I was even, I was angry at myself. I didn't know what I could do. I wanted to go join the Black Panther Party. Then I wanted to get involved in the, um, uh, black Power. Uh, I wanted to find me an African name. I just went all kind of ways in my thinking. See, I think this is so sad that you even have to grow up in a system that confuses you so bad, and then when things hit, you run to the wrong way. And then something happened. You came together again. Yeah, we uh, we talked on the phone. She called me, and we talked on the phone, and uh, she said, "You know, I love Dr. King too." I marched him many times. I killed whoever could kill, who, who killed him, I'd kill them if I could. You know, Peggy Terry said when I went uh, at a gathering, some mostly black people, Peggy Appalachian White, fifth grade education, said, you know why I, I like Dr. King, where else? Where else can poor white trash like me shake hands with a Nobel Prize winner? <laughs> That's Peggy. That's Peggy all the way. And, and, and it was no need. We, we both like felt hurt in our heart. And I apologized to her for keeping her at that distance. She understood. We embraced. And it was just like a hurt. That's all it was. Now we had to figure out which way did we go.